Hello, welcome. My name is Susie, and today we are going to open my spring Fab Fit Fun. It's finally here. I only pay for this um, seasonally, not annually. So I don't get to do choices like the people that pay annually do. I don't see whatever they have for options first. I don't get to choose first. Mine doesn't ship first. So I finally got mine. And when choice came around, the things that were my first choice of items were no longer available, which is kind of the risk you run when you pay by season instead of for the whole annual subscription. So I don't really know what's in here because I just said surprise me on everything. You also get less choices overall. I think you get five choices if you pay annually and I only get three and the three I wanted weren't there. So we are gonna open it up and see what they sent. I'm pretty sure that if you pay annually, you save a little bit of money, like 20 or $30, but if you pay seasonally, it's $50 a season. And they only do it four times a year, so spring, summer, winter, fall. The box is very, very pretty, and the winter box was also very pretty. I didn't like the fall box design, but I will just say this box is beautiful. I really like it. You open it up, and you got a magazine and some little coupons and cards and stuff. Let's see. This is the magazine. Usually it has like a lady on the front of it, um, but this one doesn't. Partnership with One Tree Planted. That could be good. They usually partner with a charity, so I'm assuming that's the one this spring. And it looks like this one is just about nature and organic things, which is something I'm pretty into, so that's pretty cool. There's also um, stickers. Gotta love stickers. I'm not really like a happy planner kind of person, but they are pretty cute. I like this little flower sticker. I might like just stick it in my student planner or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not super into planners the way that a lot of other people are into planners. There's coupons for HelloFresh. I think we tried them a long time ago and I really didn't like HelloFresh, but maybe we'll try it again and they have different menu and stuff now. We can look into it. Another card here, it says grow forth. Um, yeah, it's just saying that you can put this little card in, you know, somewhere that you can see it and be motivated by it. I actually just got this little frame back here to put the card that Tiffany Desiree sent me in this box that I won from her. It was a giveaway box. And I really, really appreciated what she wrote in the card. So I actually put it in that little frame and put it back there because that is what motivates me right now. Um, so thank you, Tiffany. But this is not so cute that I feel like I want to display it somewhere. And they sent you a mini one that you can send as a postcard to your friend. So I, I guess it's kind of cute, but I'm really into that one back there. So I'll like put this one away and maybe I will like it later or I can stick it up somewhere else. So we're going to get rid of the tissue, which is actually just recycled parchment paper, I think. And I'm pretty sure that the box is recycled and it's made from recyclable inks. I actually remember reading somewhere that FabFitFun did away with a bunch of ingredients that they thought were like bad for people and weren't sourced well. So that's pretty cool, but I don't remember what they are, but I think it's like a whole list of stuff they're are not going to have in the boxes anymore. So that's really nice of them to be like thinking about and trying to be sustainable at the same time. Over a million dollars raised since 2017 for 21 different charities. So that's really cool. And the one that they're working with right now is One Tree at a Time. So I guess last fall they had taken steps to lighten their carbon footprint by switching to seasonal boxes that were 100% recycled craft materials. So that's really cool and they are going to partner with this one tree planted so for every dollar donated one tree will be planted in one of three projects in california trying to plant local native species that were lost to fires in the national forests so that they can restore and enhance the national forests from environmental damage which is really really cool i'm really into that or in the Pacific Northwest because planting trees actually helps to save orcas and supports their main food source, salmon. 
So that's really cool. And it's also good for the environment because the trees help give us clean air. They have habitats for biodiversity. Uh, they create jobs, societal impacts. We need it for fuel. There's a ton of different things that planting trees is good for. So that's really cool. I really like this charity. Um, I'm probably gonna look them up a little bit and see what else they do. Um, but I'm, I'm really into that. That's a great charity. I'm glad that it helps the environment and that they're trying to be more sustainable and eco-friendly. Oh, here it is. There's 12 ingredients that they were going to exclude. Let's see what I have got in my box. And I guess we will just try to find them in the order that they go in the magazine so that it's not hard for me to flip back and forth between the pages. So you could have gotten for selection number one. And again, I didn't choose, so we will find out. <laughs> Um, Alice and Olivia Daisy print duffel bag, which I definitely don't have. A Paracone MD Essential FX Acal Glutheone, whatever that is. Rejuvenating Moisturizer, I didn't get that. Short Stories LED Indoor Planter, which I wanted, but I could not get. This isn't the planter, right? Yeah, that's not a planter. Um, Monroe Classic Watch, which I did not want and I did not get. I have um, a smartwatch, so I don't really have any need or want for a decorative watch that doesn't do what my smartwatch does. There was a hyacinth tray that I'm pretty sure matches coasters, but I did not need them because I have already a little tray that goes on my coffee table, so I didn't really want to get that. There was the Tech Candy UV Sanitizer, I think it's like one of those little boxes, right? And you put your phone and your keys in it and then it has a light like that dries your nail polish and it's supposed to kill germs on it, but I don't know if that like really works or if that's pseudoscience or whatever. So I'm, I don't really care to have it and I'm not so worried about it, it'll be fine. Then finally, what I really, really wanted was milk makeup, a watermelon brightening face mask, and a mini watermelon brightening face serum. They retail for $44, and that is what I've gotten. You also could have gotten the Calpac packing cubes from last summer, or the Shoshana umbrella, which was also a repeat, and I didn't want either of those. So this is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. But where is the other? Oh, it's so small, I didn't even see it. So it's actually, yeah, two products. We've got Watermelon Brightening Serum and then the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. So these are really, really cute. They're from Milk, and that's obviously a great brand. I'm pretty sure we all know Milk. So I guess we can pop them open and quick see what they look like. I know that milk makeup is supposed to be vegan and I know they have cute little packaging. I actually have a different product from them. What is it? I can't think of it right now, but I know that I like it. Oh, you know what? It's a lip and cheek color and it's very nice. This one is watermelon. And if we open it up, it doesn't really have a scent to it. This solid serum is supposed to Brighten, hydrate, and soothe for even skin tone and texture. So yeah, no scent to it. So we'll just put this one away for now. And we'll take a quick look at the watermelon mask. And what I really am going to probably like a lot about this mask is that I don't have to rub it all over my hands and then make a mess to apply it because it should be in a stick just like the little serum we were looking at. Yes, that's a little weird. The lid is not all the way on. It's like loose. Do you hear that? Yeah. Watermelon brightening face mask. And yeah, it comes in a stick. So then you can just, you know, wind it up, apply it, and then let it sit and wash it off. So I really like that. I don't know why it wasn't all the way on. It does tighten down, weird. But that is very nice as well. And I know they're vegan, they're cruelty free, and I just really like their packaging. Like what's not to like? It's really smooth, it's sleek, it's clever. I like it. So for number two, we could have gotten an Our Place Bento lunchbox. 
a billion dollar brow six piece brush set. I didn't get either of those. I could have gotten Josie, Marin, 100% Argan Oil, uh, Splendid Faux Slippers in pink, a Gaiam Ultimate Core Toning Kit, which is what I have here, and then a Steel Mill & Co. To Do Planning Bundle, MAC Cosmetic Powder Lipstick Duo, which is what I wanted, but they were sold out of them. But this Tor Core Lip Ultimate Core Toning Kit, so that must be the fit of Fab Fit Fun. Um, it's a core plus reformer and mini ab ball, and it retails, I guess, for fifty dollars. So this is the ab ball, and this jump rope looking thing is the um, oh. It's got a lot of resistance. It's actually probably pretty strong. I feel like I'm doing archery. I used to do archery. It was a lot of fun. I had a recurve bow. It was a lot of fun. I wish we still did that. Hmm. I'm not really sure how you like <laughs> use this. It feels kind of like jelly. Um, then it also kind of vaguely reminds me of like playground. It's not, I don't know, it smells like playground equipment that has been out in the sun, but that could be because this box has been sitting in my car in the Florida heat. And they also sent a card with it. Say yes to a better you. Target and tone the core, build strength, burn calories, increase flexibility. Download your workout and care guide. Oh, okay. So I guess that this gets you like a free month of their yoga app and it tells you how to use the exercise stuff that they sent. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can give this a try. You can see the, the girl doing the thing with the spaghetti contraption. My dogs are probably gonna pop this. And you get to blow it up with a straw. That sounds amazing. This is not very big and it's super rubbery. How do you do it? Oh, I see. I feel like you'd be better off with a beach ball in this instance. Oh, maybe I don't see. Nope, don't know how to do this. Mild success. That only took me like three breaths. It really wasn't so bad, but as you can see, this ball is probably like, I don't know, pretty close to the size of my head, not much bigger. And all of the creases in it didn't go away, but I don't know if that's just because like, I don't have good breathing. Pretty squishy but I don't really know how this is supposed to help you exercise so much but I guess if I download that app it will tell me um we'll see but this is kind of like those ones like that you can get from Walmart in that giant like spaghetti tower that when you're a kid you want to climb into and then they have like a bunch of different colors and they're usually like marbled or if you're really cool you get one that has glitter in it it just kind of feels just like that. Uh, I don't really know what specifically about this is like for exercise. And I guess I don't know how much like this contraption costs, but I don't feel like this is $50 at all. Unless they're saying that like the $50 comes from the free month of the exercise app, maybe. But all right, cool. That's the fit of FabFitFun. There's not usually anything that seems fit about that fit fun so I guess that's maybe why they included that um or because nobody chose it and I got it because I didn't choose something for myself so anyway <laughs> number three you could have gotten a Joy Dravecki ring and I did not like it so I did not choose it it was like green and it had like these rhinestones around it and it just looked cheap to me I didn't like it I know a lot of people liked it but uh, I didn't feel like I wanted to choose that. I didn't really want anything out of this selection at all, so I don't know what they've said for me. You also could have gotten Alice and Olivia reversible bucket hat. I don't need to look like a fisherman. You could have gotten Bloomingville woven seagrass coasters, which would look really great with the tray from selection one, but again, I have coasters and I have a tray, so I don't need those. 
um, gloss modern clean luxury hair mask which I thought I wanted except for I noticed in the ingredient list on it that it contained nuts so I didn't choose that and the other item that you could have gotten was verso skincare super eye serum okay that is what I have and it is supposed to say it retails for $65 and it says energize tired skin around the eyes and target signs of aging with retinol 8. I know that retinols, there's like something great about retinols, but I don't really know what it is. It's supposed to firm and smooth your eye. It's from Stockholm, Sweden. It smells pretty bad and it has like a weird little applicator thingy. So it kind of looks like medicine, but maybe it will make like those bags under my eyes go away. Well, maybe sleep will do that too. I guess we'll find out. One of them has to work. But that's a pretty expensive little tube right there. So I guess that's fine. So those were the only selections that I could have chosen something out of. Uh, I like the milk makeup for sure. And I guess this is great. And I don't know about my little spaghetti exercise toy thing, but I guess I'll give it a try one day and see if it's okay. Before my dog pops the ball that it comes with. The next two selections, uh, the people that pay annually get to choose from, but let's see what the options were. So for number four, you could have gotten an Ahava Refreshing Facial Cleanser. Didn't get that. An Erno Laszlo Deep Sea Mud Cleansing Bar. That might have been nice. Um, Lark and Ives Hair Scarf Bundle. I kind of was maybe hoping that would show up because I feel like it'd be, I don't know, kind of cute to like, I don't know, have a little hair scarf thing going on. Maybe. Um, Grown Alchemist Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. That would be lovely. That would smell amazing, I think. But I did not get that. Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Yeah, that would have been nice. And what I got was the Sorbus Makeup Organizer. It retails for $30. And it comes in this little box. Um, $30 sounds expensive for the size of this. I would have expected it to be much larger, like the ones that I keep back on my little table back there. I already have two. They're not from this brand. I got them at like Ross's or TJ Maxx or something like that for probably $12, and they're probably twice as big as this one. So it has a cute little daisy pattern on the bottom, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six little like lipstick sized holes into two a little bit bigger ones, and then one big one. I might put this in my bathroom and just like put a little bit of stuff that I usually use in my bathroom, like skincare stuff in this, instead of putting it over there with all my makeup stuff. Yeah, maybe this can be my skincare container. That's probably what I will do with it. Because it's not super big and I'm not super into lip products right now because you can't wear them anywhere. You wear a mask, nobody sees it, then it rubs off on the mask and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. So. I guess that's okay, and I will probably put like some sheet masks and probably the two new milk products I got will fit in those little tiny containers and maybe some q-tips or something. I don't know. We'll go from there. And for selection number five, there were Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil. Retails for $28, and that is what I have here in the bubble wrap. The packaging is beautiful. This is really pretty packaging. Do you see that? It's really shiny. I like shiny things. What can I say? I probably will like this then. Is it just me or it looks to me like the logo is on it like crooked, but that's fine. It has like this really pretty like iridescent gold shimmer stuff going on. I have um, from Bath and Body Works one of those, oh, it's in a it's in a dropper. I didn't realize that. I thought it was gonna be like a spritzer because the one I have for Bath and Body Works has like some gold body glitter in one of their Mr. Spray things. And yeah, this doesn't smell. No, it doesn't smell like anything. Um, I'm gonna drip it everywhere if I don't put it back in there. That's why I was expecting it to have a little spritzer because I have one that has glitter in it from Bath and Body Works and a spritzer and it smells amazing. What is it? It's like a cashmere or something. It's really nice. And 
this I think goes under yeah it goes under foundation and I'm not really into wearing foundation I guess that I could just rub it on like maybe my arms or something and it would still be very pretty but I might pass this along to my friend because I think that she will like it so we'll just put this back in the box and not mess around with it and I'll think about that for later the other options from this selection were Coco Floss, Tropical Trio, which I kind of wanted to try because it just sounded interesting. It was floss that was made from coconuts. I don't know. I just thought it sounded interesting. Um, I don't think it's $28 of interesting though for floss, but okay. Uh, there was also Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote, which would have maybe been cute for going grocery shopping. A Summer and Rose Tweezer Pouch. I didn't want that. $20 tweezers, get out and um h halston aloe infused gel lined socks with a pumice stone that also would have been nice but it says that they're worth 40 dollars, and i just don't see one pair of socks and a pumice stone being worth 40 dollars when you can probably pick both of those things up in the dollar tree i'm sure they're much nicer quality than the dollar tree ones but 40 dollars worth probably not now it's time for FabFitFun picks. So nobody chose these things, but they chose them for you. Everybody got something from these. And let's see which ones I have gotten. 6A was flower hair clips, which I'm glad I did not get. And then the other option for 6 was an Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brutening Am Amupole. 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 Amupole? I don't know. But I kind of wanted that, but I don't know how to say it. Um, but I didn't get it. And what I did get was Human and Kind Hand Scrub, Elderflower, and Raspberry. So I think it's supposed to exfoliate your hands instead of be like a lotion. It retails for $15. And I can't open it to tell you what it smells like for some reason. Why can't it? Oh. It's wrapped in plastic. <laughs> Shocker. Actually it smells really nice. I get the berry smell a lot. I don't really get the um, elder flower. I guess I don't know what an elder flower smells like, but I definitely smell raspberry. I don't know if it's really got a texture. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or give it to somebody else. So I'm not going to exfoliate. Yeah, so it's gotta have like some little seeds or something so that it can get the dead skin off of your hands. But I might give this to somebody else, so I'm just gonna put it away and not squeeze anything out of it. But it says that it's vegan, naturally sourced, and humane, so that's really nice. For uh, selection number seven, there was SF Glow Suns Out Pouts Out Lip Mask. That is so hard to say. Try saying that three times fast. And I did not get those. I got, what did I get? Cali Cosmetics Body Wash? No. Pink Sky Cactus Sipper Cup. Oh god. Pink Sky Looking Sharp Cactus Sippy Cup. $20. Twenty one ounces. No. No. Okay, so there it is. It has a purple straw and a little twist on lid. So it says that it is dishwasher safe, BPA lead and phthalate 3 for cold liquids only, ages 14 and up, washed thoroughly before use. Made in China. Um, so basically, I'm pretty annoyed right now because this is stupid. This is really dumb. I don't know who thought this was a good idea to put in a lifestyle box for adults, but I'm not super into this, and whoever thought 14 and up was the appropriate age for this stupid little cup is ridiculous because I don't think anyone over the age of 14 should be caught dead holding this. Um... No. Mm, also no. 
this is really bad. No. I want nothing to do with this. I know somebody who probably does and they are more than welcome to it if they want it, but I'm pretty annoyed that they included this in the box. It's a wasted item. I would have literally rather had anything else in this listing than this. Anything. Including the hair mask I was allergic to. So this is super disappointing. It is not worth $20 to me at all. I don't care if that's what it retails for. I think it's stupid. So there's my stupid little cup. And for my last uh, selection here, I could have gotten a nail polish, which I did not get. And what I did get, which is actually something that I wanted, is the Say Reusable Beauty Rounds. There are three in here. They retail for $15. And basically, you just get them damp, and they are supposed to remove your makeup for you. And you can throw them in the washer and use them over and over again. Machine wash them warm, do not dry clean. I don't know if they're worth $15, but I think that this is really nice because then I don't have to keep buying endless packs of disposable makeup wipes because you can just, you know, rub it off with a little bit of water and it gets everything nice and clean for you. So this is really, really nice, unlike that stupid cactus cup that I'm really sad that I got. So again, quick recap, I got um, Milk Makeup, this product, along with this product, and I also got the eye cream the makeup organizer, this little elderberry hand scrubber thing, the makeup browns, um, pure iconic coke glow, face and body oil. I got this little exercise gizmo and that. So I will insert the total value of the box up over here because I'm not going to do that math in my head really quick. So overall, I would say that these two products and these and perhaps this are what are most exciting for me. I want to try this and see if I like it or not. Um, but I definitely liked these products and I know that this is like not a bad product. I just didn't really need it. Uh, I'll try the eye serum as well and I mean I will give this little bouncy ball a try. I'm not super into the hand scrub and this is just a waste. This was stupid and it was a waste and I'm very disappointed and I never want to see another product like this in Fabfit Fun. I'm sorry if you like this stupid purple cup but you are more than welcome to have mine because no I'm not going to use the sippy cup and let's, let's be honest you're never going to get these two parts of the sippy cup clean ever. I don't care how well you say you clean it whatever is up here that's disgusting. No. That's disease. Thank you anyway. Overall, I think that I got the value out of maybe these items. I don't think that this has the value that they say it has. I just don't really see what the purpose of having an exfoliating hand scrub is if you can just use literally anything else that's exfoliating when you're washing your hands. So I don't really need any more exfoliation on our hands because we wash them so frequently anyway and they're like dried and chapped and all that good stuff. So that just kind of doesn't quite hit the mark for me, but it's like probably not a bad product. Honestly, overall, this spring box has not been my favorite FabFitFun box. I definitely liked my last couple of boxes better than this one. Um, I guess it is a little bit my own fault because I did say that they could send me whatever. But that being said, the items that they sent me for the only three that I had choice for in the first place were not really bad items. Like these two are nice and this might be nice. I just don't really know because it's not something that I would have purchased on my own and I might end up liking it. So we'll find out. There's no harm in trying it. So I mean, I guess that that's fine. It's really the FabFitFun picks where it kind of fell down with that cup and yeah, I don't really know what they were thinking. The box art is beautiful. I really, really like the cause that they're working with this box. So if you guys are, you know, also into FabFitFun and you receive FabFitFun box, then just let me know down below what you got. If you got the cup too and you're into it, then just, you know, yay for you. I don't know if anyone was hoping to get the cup. That's 
not something that I personally can see, but you know, maybe something for everybody. It's sure not for me though. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really enjoy making them and it would just make my day if you would take a moment to hit like or subscribe. Like I said, um, FabFitFun is really something that's really fun for me to get. And I definitely got something that was, you know, fab and I got something that was fit. And I think they were trying to go for fun, but they definitely missed the mark for me. And until I have another video up for you guys, I'll see you all later. Bye!